hey queens welcome back to my channel it is Wednesday we are about to start a video so this video is going to be the makeup that didn't work this month right so from previous videos or the most recent videos you already know that it's the Timu makeup I'm gonna try it one last time today the products that I didn't like, that didn't do anything for me, um, that were a total fail, minus the spray. The setting spray is already in the garbage. It already, it's in, it's in setting spray heaven. So that one I, I don't have, but the the rest of the products that I'm, they're here. I'm gonna try them on for the last time. Let me just moisturize my lips because they feel a little dry today. And I'm going to try my best not to make a disaster out of my face because after this, I need to film the Ipsy video. So we're going to jump into that after this one. Hopefully the makeup comes out decent so I could do that video. Let me tell you what I have in front of me that I'm just uh, so unhappy with. All right, so the first thing that I don't want to keep it didn't work for me was the foundation the other thing that i really didn't like i mean editing my previous video i noticed that there's a lot of fallout and there's a lot of creasing in the eyelids so even though i primed it the palette the colors are beautiful but it the formula but the formula sucks and then the mascara that promises to lengthen your eyelashes and the liquid liner I don't like it because it's too it is too stiff and I just I I'm gonna put it on today for the last time because you gotta go the rest of the items I'm gonna use oh and also this is not a Timu this is uh what is this Maybelline it just too light it's too light I don't I've tried it with several lip glosses on top. I mean, it looks decent with lip gloss, but I don't always want to wear lip gloss. I was hoping that that shade would be like a like a pale nude, but this is just too pale, and I don't like how it washes my face up. So that also got to go. And then the rest of the items, like the contour, the concealer, um, yeah, that's basically it. That's all I have. And obviously my lashes, that's all from the makeup collection that I have that I love and that I'm going to keep. And I'm definitely going to keep the eyebrow gel because I really liked it. Like I, you know, in the previous video, I said it's a 10. It's still a 10. I love it. I used it yesterday when I went out for my appointment. I used it this morning. I just, I love how it feels. It makes my eyebrows stay in place. So let's get started. I want to where you go 
okay cleans this is the final look i i think i did okay um am i in love with the timu makeup no but i think i did a good job working with what the quality of the makeup is right so let's start with the eyeshadows the eyeshadows, I mean, I said it the last time that I like the formula of how uh, you can build up the color. And that's, I stand by that. I Now I'm conflicted because, you know, I like how this makeup came on. Now when I edit, when I look down, I'll see if it's creasing again. But I mean, so far, what I see in the mirror, it's nice, it's light, it's not there's no fallout at least i don't see any on my skin um but yeah but i still don't love it i like it but i just i don't love it and i don't i don't think i want to keep it so goodbye and then i went in with no no then i went in with the mascara no then i went in with the liquid liner and i still don't like it i mean it's just so hard the tip the the tip is so hard it's stiff and i just i don't love that i don't love that because i feel like i can't manipulate where i want to or i don't have control over where where the where the shade lands yeah i just yeah and then i feel like it pushes my skin yeah i just don't like i don't like the feel of that um so this is a goodbye then I went in with the mascara that I think it's supposed to lengthen your lashes. And I didn't see any length. I did see some pigments, but it does feel dry. Like, this is so dry. So it's a no for me. Then I went in with the foundation. And the foundation went in okay. The last time I used the foundation... I used it with a brush this time I used it with the makeup blender and I liked how it applied and it blended into my skin yeah I mean I like it I like the foundation but I just don't like it it's a little too yellow for me yeah I'm I'm not uh I'm not loving it. I mean, I also don't see the like the dryness from here that I usually see in the mirror. I don't see that, so I guess that's good. I mean, it's a matte, so it's supposed to blur out any imperfections. Um, it's okay. Do I want to keep it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I want to keep it. You know what? I'm going to keep the foundation. I'm going to keep it. You know why? Because the last time I used it with the brush and it was hard to apply. It just felt like really hard and stiff. So there I applied it with a sponge and I liked it more. So you know what? I'm going to keep trying it. I'm going to use it again until I fully decide whether I want to. I mean, it looks a little too yellowy for me, but it's okay because I can blend it with like contour and blush and all of that, right? So I'm going to, that's the only item I'm going to keep. Everything else is going to the garbage. Um, and then I went in with the lipstick. The lipstick, I was so right about it. This washes my face out and it looks so pale. And I did apply a little thin coat of the um, Fenty Beauty lip gloss. And I just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I use the, I use the lip liner and I just, not a fan. Sorry, gotta go. Okay, so that's it for my review. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or this makeup, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.